Hey guys, it's Wanda, and I'm in the kitchen today. I'm in the deep south kitchen, but this is crazy days. Today we're going to be making cabbage steaks. I saw this a while back on some post or something somewhere, and I thought, you know, we've got cabbages in the greenhouse. So Danny come bringing me a cabbage and some broccoli from the greenhouse, and I had the broccoli with some steamed with some cheese on it for lunch, and it was awesome. So I thought, what can I do that's different with cabbage? I'm gonna take half of it and make slaw. Now there's only two of us, so one cabbage does a lot for us. The other half, I'm gonna cut in steaks. Basically, I'm gonna cut the center two steaks out and the two sides, the rounded parts, is gonna be what's left for slaw. Now this may not be the biggest cabbage you've ever seen, but this is the size that most stores carry now. We're not too into the growing the huge ones, just so we have some decent cabbage. And I'm just gonna cut the back off and all these leaves. You can make cabbage rolls and stuff with this, so you don't have to throw that away. I'm gonna cut this side off and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna cut about, I think it's about an inch I'm guessing Danny could tell you more. He would be, oh, that's an inch for sure. But I'm cutting it backwards, so guys, you got to bear with me. And this is a cabbage steak. I may have called it a roll a while ago, but this is a cabbage steak. You see about how thick it is? We're going to lay it aside. Now let's cut one more. Okay, one more cabbage steak. And then we have what's left to make slaw. All right, I have my Pampered Chef Iron Skillet and I'm gonna lay these in here. And I've already put some olive oil in the bottom. I decided to make three and then I'll use the rest. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna add a touch of salt A touch of pepper and then 424 below sea level this is a combination of salt sea salt uh, pepper and garlic it just has a different taste And I'm not putting too much, but just enough to give it a little flavor. I am going to be drizzling my oil. Spritzing it across there. And we're going to bake this in the oven at 400 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes and check it. And then we'll be flipping it and drizzling to touch if it needs it if it don't we'll just be cooking it and if you want cheese or something on it you would add it then and cook it we're gonna see how it does in 10 minutes all right so we have our uh, cabbage steaks out of the oven i cooked them almost 20 minutes i flipped them at about 12 minutes and then i put them under the broiler for a couple of minutes just to brown them we're going to taste these in just a few minutes. All right, we're ready to eat, and we have our cabbage steaks here. I want to know what you think. Oh, I've never had a cabbage steak before. Danny and I both love cabbage. Oh, man. That is awesome. I don't know what you put in it. I don't know what you did to it. Now that is awesome it is good the edges are a little crisp yeah mm, yeah instead of frying it we baked it at 400 wow i put a little salt and pepper a little garlic salt Man. and a touch of olive oil that's the best cabbage i ever had in my life and it came out of our greenhouse oh is this the one okay mm -hmm. well i should have known <laughs> we don't go to the store and buy nothing i guess i should have figured that one out 
You knew it was your cabbage. Wow. Mm. That's amazing. So guys, cabbage steaks. When you don't know what to do with cabbage, now we've got slaw. I made slaw with the other. I added some of our fresh carrots. Man, that's good. Um, what else did I put in my slaw? Um, I don't know I ain't had none yet. Fresh carrots. Um, it's going to be from the place. I know that. Yeah. A touch of vinegar, salt, a touch of sugar, a touch of mayonnaise. Y'all, I don't measure stuff. I just put a little bit of it in there and I just know what I want it to taste like. And it tastes good. I already tested it too. Oh, I have you? Okay. Yeah. I haven't had a taste so, of it yet. This outside is just, it's just crunchy. It's a different way to eat cabbage. Mm. If you're used to fried cabbage and stuff like that, kinda, it's kind of like it. Trying to figure out what it tastes like. Um, um, it has a, <coughs> a very distinct taste, and I and, and I know I've tasted something that tastes just like that. The crunch is really good. But for the likes of me, it's just not coming to me. But it is super Super good. Some cabbage steaks, guys. Those heads of cabbage you got coming in, turn them into a steak. And like I said earlier, you can put cheese on them. Oh, you could um, man. brown some sausage or anything like that and put on it, and then your cheese, and then you've got your cabbage, your cheese. You'd have a cute little own pie or steak. It would be uh, awesome. Now that you done, you done making me really hungry now. Talking about putting cheese on it and sausage and stuff like that. So guys, any way you want to do it, but this is just the plain, simple cabbage. We wanted to taste it as it is. Yeah. You can doctor it up, but try your cabbage steaks. Man. Thank you guys.